Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of December 2022. And I'll uh, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Gemini. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Cups. Love, but not the kind of love you would think. I don't think so. It's love that's within reach. Friends, family, could be tied up to one particular situation. I see it more as a whole. Anyways, uh, starting off the reading, you get the Seven of Swords crossed by the Justice card. You're... Um, you're kind of walking away from a situation here. I, again, I see this as a more general idea. So let's say you've been in this place for 10 years and now you're moving someplace else. So it's kind of like that. It's not that you're leaving a person necessarily. It could be that too. But it's more of a general whole where it's looking like you're, you, you changed something here. Where you walked away from something. You detached from something. As you do that, you're starting to balance yourself out more and more. Your focus here is on love. Uh, and again, maybe it could be that from friends or family or the people you surround yourself with more than, oh, I got to find someone and focus on them. You know, um, I don't think that's the main idea, even though it could translate as that to you, where you could find yourself saying that, okay, I got to, there's that one person out there for me and they're, they're it and... You tickled me. And, um, you know, it could translate as that, but I don't see it as that. I see it as the energy of love, which is spreading out towards, you know, your, your immediate environment. Um, in the recent past year, there's been a lot of healing on your side with the hermit and your strength stepping into your power. A lot of nurturing through this energy, self-nurturing especially. So that tells me you've increased that dosage of self-love where you're taking care of yourself a little more. In the immediate future, the Ace of Swords, wanting to take action towards something here, uh, supporting this reading, again, that equal give and take, that exchange of energy uh, with whoever surrounds you, which is feeling good. In the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, there's been some changes here for you. And I kind of get the sense that you're not fully consciously recognizing them energetically speaking hell yeah major changes physically i'm not sure if you see them that's why they're in the hidden energies in your hopes and fears the hierophant you want something deep something meaningful um not only to share with someone but for yourself you know kind of like I, I need to to feel that sense of okay this is what i'm doing with my life and it's serving a purpose or you know that that kind of um acknowledgement that whatever you're doing is meaningful and at least to you you know if not to the world but it starts with you in the uh, immediate in the potential outcome the ten of wands there's some difficulty that shows up here but um let's let's uh, clarify let's see what's up let me do the two of cups Ace of Wands, the Empress, the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, again, the people you surround yourself with, um, friendships, family. And again, yeah, it could be someone in particular, because you are showing me... No, it's still, it's still leading me in the same place. Even though your focus from the mind may be tied up to one particular situation, I still see this as a general energy, where you're shooting arrows towards anything that's... Um, loving supporting to you at this time you know which i don't see it sitting in one place that's the thing 
Um, let me see the Seven of Swords. You get the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles. There's something you're not fully accepting as, again, I kind of see you walking away from um, something and you haven't fully accepted that, okay, that's, I left that over there and now I'm stepping into this new situation, whatever it is. You know, it almost feels like it, it hasn't sunk in yet. That, that may not be part of your life anymore. But uh, the energy of it is kind of coming back. You know, to bite you in the behind. Because, uh, I mean, it's looking like, okay, you cannot accept it if you want. You you can leave it there and pretend that it, whatever, and then step into something new. But the energy of losing that, because we lose things all the time, in the way that we feel, the energy of loss is always there when we detach ourselves from things. Even the smaller things, the, the things you would never think, you know. They've been part of your life for sometime you're gonna experience loss over that so the energy of that loss is kind of coming back around in case you didn't accept that fully in case you didn't make peace with it okay that's what's happening it's kind of coming back because it wants closure it wants to be left where it was there in the past you know um let's do the justice card The Temperance card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Definitely stepping into brand new energies here. Um, there's a sense of confidence. There's a sense of balance. There's a sense of transformation. It feels good. This brand new beginning feels good. Again, the only slight issue here is the fact that you didn't close off whatever you left to step into this brand new place. You know? Let's do the Ace of Cups. In your focus, you get the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups. See, that's what I'm saying, because, yeah, you're open to love, to your immediate environment. But when it comes to one specific person, like, let me go look for someone and share my heart with them, share my life with them, share everything with them until forever and ever and ever. Um, that's the difficult part, to open up to one particular energy of love that kind of resonates perfectly with yours, you know? That's where you're showing me there's difficulty there. Because, you know, look at the past, look what happened there. And I'm going to tell you, I don't want to look at the past, because the past is gone. Nothing to see there. I would have to do this extra effort, turn back around, use my mind to go take me there and, you know. Um, I, no, the past is the past. And in the present, if you do want to open up to one particular energy of love that resonates with you perfectly, the past is just going to drag you down. You know, it's a matter of do you want it or not. The past makes it heavy. Look at this. Brings in heavy energies. I don't want that. You know, I want to experience love as new all the time. But uh, I get where you're coming from. You know, a lot of times we can't help it. And we think, oh, okay, you know, I'm learning from my path. Learning what? To put heaviness on love? I don't want to learn that. Anyways, let's do the Hermit in the past. Speaking of the past. Nine of Wands, Page of Cups, the Hermit. Yeah, it's been difficult. Yeah, it's been hard. Yeah, it kind of took you in the direction of, you know, like all of us, it's human nature, blocking love, which is not necessarily the best. But there's also good parts to whatever happened there. It brought you a lot of healing. You still need to heal, obviously, because when you're blocking love in the present, there's obviously a whole lot more to heal. But, um, you know, it's not only, oh my God, I got so hurt that I shut down and now I'm not loving anymore, blah, blah. 
It's not only about that. There's a lot of healing in that past of yours too that brought you into this place and into this confidence of, okay, let's uh, start something new. In your strength, for the Empress, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is brand new energy. Could you have done it without going through whatever you've experienced in the past there, without that healing from the past? Maybe. But you're, you're making it look easy, you know? Without that experience of healing, you probably would have stumbled, would have been like, oh my god, this is so hard, how do I do this? No, you're looking like you're flawless here. You're creating something brand new, something stable, that whatever it is you're building on contributes and builds your sense of stability. But you're not there yet. But you're in the middle of creating that. You know? It's a slow process, yes, but you've got the tools now that you can create with. Which you may not have had in the past. You know? Um, Ace of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Eight of Swords, the World card, the Justice card. That's great energy. Because you're, you're saying to me here, I want to go do this. I have no idea what this is, but you want to go do something. And then the first thing you do is, okay, then let me think about it, and then let me start overthinking it. And then to hell with it, because I'm not going to do it, because I'm busy thinking about it. You're not doing that anymore. You know? You have the tendency to go up there in the mind, and then you're like, okay, chill, chill, let's balance ourselves, let's not go there. And from that balanced place, you can go do whatever the hell you want, because the mind is not stopping you anymore. So you're definitely starting to close off these cycles where the mind comes in to stop you. Let's do the Six of Pentacles and the Supportive Energies. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords. There you go. Because you got the Ace of Cups in your focus here where you're showing me, yeah, but you know, the past hurt me and I'm not looking for love. That energy is changing. You're starting to fall more and more into the acceptance and understanding of there's got to be an energy out there that matches me perfectly in love. And I can't find it unless I open up to it. So you're starting to do that slowly but surely. It's going to take a while for you to get to that really sunken in kind of realization. But you're showing me you're heading in that direction. And slowly but surely, you're starting to open up to that. Cool, where you're not showing me the past anymore. You're not showing me the past anymore. Because when you did that, you were also showing me that you're being dragged back. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the Hidden Energies. Queen of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords. As I said, there's been a lot of healing on your side. And you're also showing me a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care. Um, you have a tendency to get distracted from that. You know, where, ooh, I found something more important than loving myself which I don't know what that is, it could be just about anything. It's just a tendency of you being pulled out of it. It's presenting itself. It's almost like a, like a drug for you. And then you forget all about that aspect of self-love. You know, you have it there. It's always available. It's a matter of, are you going to stay with it constantly? Or are you going to be, you know, pulled out of it when the next best distraction shows up? Because right now, you're in the middle of one of those distractions. You know, where something is presenting itself now, as we speak. And you might be pulled away from putting yourself first. Let's do the Hierophant in your hopes and fears. The Sun, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. Hold on, Oscar said on my feet. Hey, hey, that's my foot. Felix Nixon. What the hell? Anyways, um, something shows up here for you. Something sh showing up now for you. 
you're not seeing it for what it truly is. This situation, whatever it is, very deep, has the potential of happiness. But you're showing me I don't see it because my back is turned to it. But what's interesting about this energy is I don't see it, but I'm looking for it where I'm at. It's kind of like this energy of happiness is right here. The potential of happiness, the potential of depth, the potential of anything you could possibly want is right here. I'm here and I'm like, where is it? What are you talking about? I can't, I can't see it. And I'm looking for something here though. And what you're looking for is right here, this energy right here. How the hell? It's right there. You're not ready to see it. You're not ready to see it. It will reveal itself at some point. I don't know when, when you're ready. But for right now, you're not ready to see it. Almost like you're not supposed to see it now. Uh, let's do the Ten of Wands in your potential outcome. Two of Swords, Six of Cups, the Star. I see a very difficult process in between now and when you're able to see the situation, which does appear to see a soul connection, you know, everything you could possibly want is right there behind you. Um, but I see a difficult process for, for you to realize that what you're looking for is right here and all you have to do is do this. So through your turning here, I do see a very difficult process, um, very heavy one which to me means healing, so I'm happy to see that, which to you is gonna feel like crap, you know, by the time you actually realize, oh, you know? So, okay, good news for me. Not so good news for you, because as I said, it's probably gonna feel like crap, but let's see what the universe has. Um, Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Mm. The things that you're attracted to at this point, um, which I don't know what those are. It could be just about anything. Um, Right, because I feel like those are there. There's something that comes through as distractions for you, just like it showed up in the in the um, hidden energies. The universe is kind of going on the same idea here. Like there's something quite distracting that shows up for you here, and it's looking like it's appealing from that way of man. This feels good. I would love to go out and do this today, or you know. Wait trying to give you an example so this, let's say you had something planned for yourself um i don't know a manicure or a pedicure uh, something something that you know you're doing it's it's a little something but it's for you and then you're like oh but a friend just called and said um let's go to six flags or i don't know it's a stupid example but somewhere let, let's go do this or oh that would be fine oh, okay let's go do that not realizing that you're taking away from you when you don't really want to go there because it's not, you know, it didn't come from you. You're going with your friend. Yeah, it would be fun to see your friend and go with them. And, but at the same time, you're taking away from you, you know? So it's kind of like that where the universe is kind of trying to reinforce that where you're, you're like throwing yourself under the bus just like that when a distraction shows up. So pay close attention to those energies because one is in the hidden energy. So you're not going to realize it. You know, you're not going to catch it just like that. And then the universe says here that it's quite important because it's bringing it up again. So it should be important to you at this time. Let's do the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Let's see what that is. Here, waxing gibbous. 
Well, let's see. The time for courage is here. Fear is only useful if it teaches you something. You must examine whether your fears are old or new, useful or unhelpful. Fear blocks flow. I am courageous being the quote. All right. Fear blocks flow. Fear blocks everything. That's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.